Ken Hill out here at Nelson Ledges. And wouldn't it be great, wouldn't it be great if we had a drill that you could work on your vision and you could work on your depth perception and your motor controls and building a brake graph and getting comfortable with the front end, front end feel. Wouldn't it be great if we had a drill for that? We do. And that's our brake drill. And I've had a lot of people ask me what our brake drill consists of and um, how do we set it up? And this is how we set it up. It's as simple as putting yourself in either a parking lot or some sort of, some sort of environment that's flat. And we simply use cones. And we start off with our three cones, our two cones, one cone. And then it's all centered around those two cones that are lying down, uh, which is where we want to end our braking. And it, we simply start off with coming through our brake drill at a low speed. We'll come through our brake drill, um, say at 20, 25 miles an hour. Um, we'll go to the brakes at the three cone, go to them at 5%, and then we let off, remember we let off the brakes at the cones lying down, at right there at its five, four, three, two, one. So we work on our initial brakes, end of braking, initial brakes, end of braking. And then we start to bring a little bit more speed into it. So instead of going 25 miles an hour, we might go 35, go to the brakes at the three cone, build our brake graph up, and then trail the brake graph off again to our end of braking cones right there. We have another set of end of braking cones down there that we use um, for some vision timing. I'll talk about that in just a second. And then as that gets more proficient, we'll come in, we'll go to the brakes at the two cones, build our brake graph up steeper and quicker, trail off of it steeper and quicker. But again, the goal is to be letting off the brakes just at those cones. And we start to build these habits, we bring more speed into it. And then later on, yeah, what we do at the very end, you see the, cone, the second set of cones laying down and the cone standing up, is we'll come in and we'll actually work on some eye timing where we'll go to the brakes that we look in to there, in, in, in to where we want to let off the brakes all the way down there, and we'll actually turn into it. So we have to get a little bit of eye timing going on in there. So very simple to set up. And you can look at the spacing and see the spacing that we have. But again, this covers your initial braking. This covers your end of braking. Uh, this covers your depth perception, building your brake graph, and just really getting comfortable with the front end and feeling the fork compress. And this is part of what we talk about with feel references. If we don't know what the front brake is like, we don't, we're not comfortable with how the fork compresses and how the front tire um, contact, how you control the contact patch, this is the environment that you do it in. So that's our brake drill.